Hello my loves, I hope you're all very very well. It is the day of Christmas food shopping today. So we are doing a very very large shopping because we will be quite a few people at Christmas. I'm sorry if you can hear babies. Bella is not very happy of being at the back. But we are just heading to Sainsbury's now. So I will see you there. Say hello everyone, we're going shopping. Walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately, I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes. So oh, it's true. I'm so glad you feel it too. Nothing to hide. Falling in love. in Sainsbury's we ended up with massive shopping in Sainsbury's so yeah we'll see how it goes in here and I think next we will go to Marks and Spencer's to get a little bit more of the Christmassy stuff and that's pretty much it because the amount that we have spent already is absolutely insane so yeah This is like my favourite aisle in the shop. <laughs> said we were planning a small shopping in Sainsbury's but we have two trolleys that are practically full yeah it's insane I honestly didn't thought that we will shop this much so 
we just finished in Sainsbury's. We came to petrol station because the car is literally dry and we needed some petrol. And then we are heading to M&S just to finish off whatever we need else. Because in Marks and Spencer's they usually have this amazingly beautiful and nice Christmas food. So we will just head there, get some bits and bobs because we literally got everything in Sainsbury's. I don't really think that we need much more. I honestly didn't thought that we will buy that much in Sainsbury's because we were planning to go Sainsbury's, Marks and Spencer's, maybe Lidl or Aldi, but it ended up that we didn't really need it to go anywhere else because we found everything there. So yeah, now we are heading to M&S and that will be pretty much it of our shopping today. Every time when I come Christmas shopping at M&S, I feel like I just want to grab everything and put everything in trolley because it all looks so, so good. Just so, so good. They have really nice things here. Like, really nice. I'm trying not to go overboard because I literally just now spent 400 in Sainsbury's and I think it would be way too much to spend a lot more in Marks and Spencer's too. One thing I have noticed though, neither in Sainsbury's or here, they have no Christmas music. Like last year it felt really really festive because everyone was dressed in Sainsbury's in Christmas jumpers and then it had this lovely Christmas music playing where this year there's nothing. That kind of ruins the mood a little bit but it's the food we are here for, not the music. Nothing quite to do with Christmas, but this is my lunch. Alright, I think I am finished in Marks and Spencer's. I will just go and pay and then I will see you at home and I will show you what I've got. Hello! <laughs> so, I am back from town. So, this is just one of the many bags that I emptied. I will go little by little because I have simply no space on the table where to show everything. So I started with the more of a meat and cheese. I still have meat products in the bags but this is pretty much the basics what we need for Christmas dinner. So we have stuffing, we have chipolatas wrapped in a bacon. They look really, really yummy. So then we have pigs in blankets, a um, few of those as well. That is not Christmas without pigs in blankets. Then we have the main meats, what we are going to have for dinner. We already have turkey in the freezer, so that will be one of the meats. We have gammon, we have duck and I will probably butcher this because I will be very honest, I have never bought this bed before. I never even heard of it before. <laughs> but it is guinea fowl, fowl? <laughs> I, I honestly don't know how to say it, but anyway, that will be another bird for the dinner. Then I have some chicken thighs because I'm gonna make really lovely chicken and cranberry roast. Mostly everything what I have bought is for the recipes I'm gonna make. Uh, then I got some sausages because Kit and James loves them. James grabbed some chicken breast because he's having fajitas later. Not everything, not completely everything is for Christmas dinner but it is like for this Christmas week, but mainly we sh we did the shopping for the Christmas, for Boxing Day. Then I got some barbecue pork belly bites. They are amazing. I tried them last year and they were so yummy. I don't really think that I mentioned, but everything what I'm going to show you now is from Sainsbury's. 
because we did this massive, massive shopping in Sainsbury's. So then we have fig and port camembert. Next we have some butter because all the baking and all that stuff. <laughs> what is in front of us? So we have a little bit of butter, but I will probably need to get some more. Then I have some beef dripping and goose fat. I know this might sound disgusting that we bake our potatoes in fat. But if you would know how yummy it turns out with any of these, I definitely advise to try any of them. So next I have some salmon. I have some sock eye salmon, if that's how you say it right. So that one is raw, I'm gonna bake that one. And this is smoked salmon in orange and beetroot. Then we have some mini beef wellingtons. We really, really love these ones. Last year when we tried them, they literally disappeared in seconds. <laughs> Everyone really, really liked them. So then I have some bacon because, again, all my recipes. And then just some sausages just to snack on. So next I have some chicken liver pate. I'm absolutely crazy for pates. I can never find a good pate throughout the year, but when it's Christmas time, they have everything, literally everything. And then we have cheese we have some baby bells then we have this festive christmas tower filled with cheese I'm not really sure what kind of cheese there is inside but just to be curious let's open it so first one is cracked black pepper cheddar next one is mango and ginger wensleydale and the last one from this packet is chili red leicester then i have a few more that i have picked up one is smoky cheddar then i have cheddar with caramelized onions then i have this absolutely gorgeous star shaped cheese what is cheddar with chili and honey then i have cheddar with garlic and herbs then i have wednesday day and cranberry one thing for sure at christmas time our fridge is absolutely filled with cheese we love cheesy snacks in for christmas and we like to make cheese boards and just have literally plowman's meal because that's what we do a lot between christmas and new year because we have a lot of like olives left over and all sorts of like sausage rolls and whatnot and a lot of cheese so we just eat a lot of plowman's meals because it's easy you don't have to cook and you get rid of all the christmas food as well but yeah and i do have more cheese from marks and spencers as well so next i have all my fruit and veg for mainly christmas dinner but there's bits and bobs where i bought that we can snack on as well not much bits and bobs <laughs> literally just not <laughs> but yeah that is like christmas dinner boxing day dinner for nine people so i think i've done fairly well so first i have some ginger what is in few of my recipes and i really like to make ginger and lemon tonic so i got ginger root quite a lot then i have some sweet potatoes some carrots then i have some lime and rosemary then i got a few packs of parsnips because there's literally nothing in the packet there's like four pieces so that's why i needed two packets some onions plums some cranberries then we have some nuts this is like our tradition every year we always get nuts in the shells because we like to sit on a sofa and crack them open i think it's great fun for kids i don't know why they love it so much but they absolutely love these nuts yeah they love them way way more than just normal nuts out of shell and plus in the st <laughs> in the store our bag split so we had nuts all over our shopping then we have some garlic some apples and I found these amazing brussels with bacon and chestnuts I can't wait to try them out because I love bacon I love chestnuts and let's not even talk about brussels so this should be such a great snack then I got some mushrooms some butternut squash then I got some beets 
And then we have some citrus fruit, what is lemons, oranges, I have some small oranges or mandarins, how you call them. Yeah, the limes. Then I have some Brussels sprouts and asparagus. So that's pretty much everything we have from fruit and veg. So then I emptied another random bag with some Christmas baits but some like snacks what we have for this Christmas week because we will have film night what is usually a proper snack night so we have some pizza, yogurt, some popcorn I got some dog toilet blocks because I have run out and then we have some sweet and sour chicken some cheesy baguette next we have scotch egg so James got decent scotch eggs <laughs> what are pound something for quite a few inside but this one this one he got for two pounds one little scotch egg he's mental like why but anyway so we have scotch egg we have small and big pork pies then we have some pecans some poppadoms oh there we are we have scotch eggs again not the ones that cost two pounds each <laughs> so then we have tapas snacking selection next we have some cheesecakes my girls absolutely love them i hope james won't eat them before girls <laughs> Then we have some pancakes with sweet cheese filling. I am a sucker for a good porridge and they have come out with new Christmas porridge. So this is Black Forest, I'm not even gonna pronounce this because I know I will butcher, flavor porridge. It is Scottish jumbo oats, rich cocoa and sweet black cherry flavor. They look so, so yummy and I love cherries. Then we have three packets of three cheese cauliflower cheese we we do love our cauliflower cheese especially for christmas so the next we have mixed olives with feta we have some raspberry and vanilla panna cotta for the chocolate lovers in my house we have yule log it actually looks really really yummy it's all like creamy inside i don't know can you see but it's it looks really really yummy even if i'm not that much of a chocolate lover i'm pretty sure i will try this because it's just so creamy. I just started to clear off the table and I realized that I never really showed these. These are beef mini burgers. They look really, really yummy. I've never had these, but I'm hoping for the best. <laughs> I really love Sainsbury's Christmas food, so they should be good. Then I have bottled stuff. I got some balsamic vinegar and red wine vinegar. Then, of course, it is not a Christmas without Schler. Then again I have beer for my recipe. I have Relentless and Lucasade, what is for James, because only he drinks stuff like that in this house. Then I have some milk and kefir, some pink lemonade, and of course, <laughs> as me and my mom will be the only grown-ups in a house that will actually use alcohol, I got some bits and bobs, um, I got some Baileys. I do have a lot of wine in the house, so we will see <laughs> what we want to drink. But I got some Baileys. I got some Prosecco and I have port. What is meant for one of my recipes, but I literally need a tiniest little bit. And the rest is for me and my mum. <laughs> So while I'm at it, we got some coke as well. So then I have some more bits and bobs. I finally can see way through the kitchen because it's not all covered with bags full of food. But anyway, James got for himself kebab wrap kit. He got some tortillas. Then we have some shortbread, of course cereal because kids are at home all the time and that's pretty much what we have for breakfast every morning. They don't really eat porridges or stuff, so they have either pancakes, cereal or toasts for breakfast. So we go through these like there's no tomorrow. Then I have some dark brown sugar, some Kinder Sweeties for girls. James have his fajita spice because he's making fajitas at some point this week and then i found these amazing gravies i found chicken gravy with red onions and sage and then i found beef gravy as well 
with Merlot red wine and black pepper. So these will be great on the side for people to choose whatever they want to have with their dinner. Then we have some profiteroles, then we have some mango chutney, some cranberry sauce and then we have some spiced apple and pear chutney. I found this amazing cranberry orange and roast chestnut stuffing. I really really hope it will be good because I'm not very much into normal stuffing. I don't like the taste but this just looks this looks interesting. This looks like I could even try it. <laughs> then I have some chili sauce, some whipped cream, then I have just normal chicken gravy, and then I have some turkey gravy. Of course, again, sweeties, and some popcorn, and then I have some rosemary, and mulling spices, and some vanilla extract as well. And of course, the main thing for the Christmas dinner is the Yorkshire pudding. And then I have last few bits left from Sainsbury's. We got quite a few crisps because we go through them quite quickly. As well, I would just like to remind to everyone who is watching, please, if you do not like to see families that eat really, really crappy around Christmas time, please click off this video <laughs> because this is our main diet when it comes to Christmas and New Year. It is a cold winter. We like to gain a few pounds to not freeze to death, knowing how high the gas prices are now. So these are all the crisps we're having. So yeah, we are having some Walkers Max hot sauce blades. They're not mine, they're Jamie's anyway. Then we have some uh, McCoy's flame grilled steak. Girls absolutely love these. Then we have Walker's salt and vinegar. And again we have Walker's roast chicken. And another <laughs> and another Walker's. Um, we have squares. Then we have some pork and cranberry sausage rolls. Then I found some loaded nacho chicken bites. They look so yummy. The next we have duck spring rolls. I got these trays. I got four of them, I think. Because we do not have very large dishes where to plate all the Christmas dinner. So it's easier to buy one of these. They are absolutely amazing. Then next we have Chinese style chicken curry. Then we have some prawn toasts. We have some pizza again. And then we have another quick meal, what is Hunter's chicken. Then of course some naan breads, sweeties, as per usual. And then I got some Bailey's extra thick cream. And the last of the crisps, we have some sour cream and onion Pringles. I honestly bought it just because of the packaging. <laughs> so, and this is my last shopping bits. And this is all from Marks and Spencer's. I didn't buy much in there because first of all, you just saw how much shopping there came from Sainsbury's. We literally have filled our fridge and cupboards up from everything from Sainsbury's. But this is all like, I could say bougie bits and bobs because I go to Marks and Spencer's literally to treat myself. That might sound sad, but I do like Marks and Spencer's Christmas food and I always go there and buy a little bit, like right at the end when I finish shopping because the food there is just bougie. It is much more expensive though and it tastes so yummy but I literally never buy much because just look there's nothing much and all of this cost me 117 pounds I'm pretty sure you can see now why <laughs> I do not shop a lot in there but I literally like to go there just for the Christmas food. I do not shop there normally on our weekly shoppings because we are a family of six and I do like to prioritize other things than just eating fancy for a week, right? But anyway, we got some really nice bits in Marks and Spencer's. I got these cheese snowflakes. They look so, so yummy. This is one of the sweet cheeses what I usually buy. Then I have some tempera prawns. Then I have these. These are milk and blonde chocolate florentines. It, it sounds so bougie but listen they truly just biscuits. But fancy biscuits. They look really nice. I, I bet they taste as well as they look. Then I have 
a pork pie topped with cranberries. Um, some more cranberry sauce. I like this one the, more than the one we got from Sainsbury's. They had the jarred one, so it will be more like marmalade. But this is like, I don't know, can you see? But like with proper cranberries in. Next I have some cheese. My camera doesn't want to focus. Some cranberry and orange cheese. Then I have a cheese bake. James absolutely loved these and of course another pate for me. Then I found this cheese pastry Christmas tree. Doesn't it look cute? It looks the same like that cinnamon Christmas tree I baked. Then I have some mini pies. Then I have... You can see what that is. <laughs> it is some sort of meat. It looks really nice but it tastes nice but I'm not gonna even try to pronounce this. I do not want any hate from anyone because I will butcher this like crazy if I will even try to pronounce it. Then I have some poor garnish selection. This looks so yummy. Mm. And of course again booze. <laughs> I got some gin. At the checkout they had these tonic waters. What is supposed to be very good if you pair these two together. But why I got this gin? was because can you see it has glitter snowflakes inside oh my god so what this is it is spiced sugar plum gin liquor it looks so cute i'm not interested in drinking it i'm literally i could put it on the shelf as a snow globe just look how cute that is it's amazing, it literally looks like snow falling on the trees. Beautiful. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to trying this. And yeah, that's everything from Marks and Spencers. And this is my Christmas fridge. You know what? Comparing to last year, I think last year we spent a bit less money, but my fridge looked rammed full like we couldn't put anything else in there but here easy peasy I think I could put another bag full of food I'm not complaining though I have everything what I need like it just doesn't feel very very full don't mind the granny there it's my old very hungry sourdough starter so yeah, some more cheese, some bits and bobs, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh well. So I have finished with the shopping. I have put it all away. I just need to tidy up the bits and bobs that I have put <laughs> around the sides. What should go in cupboards. I literally did just the fridge right now. So yeah, I need to finish all that off. And my Christmas shopping is all done. Well, of course, bits and bobs here and there throughout the week. If we will find what we need, we'll go and get something else. But the main things, like all the meats, all the vegetables, everything is done. All the drinks. We literally, there's, there's no need for anything else. Now I just need to wait for Christmas. It was a very, very expensive shopping though. Because when we went to town, we had 400 limit of spending money. Well, I thought, you know, it can't be that we will spend it all. And we were meant to go to Sainsbury's, Max and Spencer's and somewhere Aldi or Lidl. We ended up buying most of our things what we needed in Sainsbury's because it was very good this year. They had practically everything what we needed and we didn't feel like we needed Aldi or Lidl. And plus we went to... Marks and Spencers after and I had to pay extra on top of the budget we had from Marks and Spencers because our shopping in Sainsbury's cost nearly £400. It was £398 something. But we did got quite a bit. We did got quite a bit. And then when we went to Marks and Spencers I paid extra £117 for the shopping that I got there. So together our shopping cost £515 and it's insane it is absolutely insane like I knew the cost of living 
has gone up, it's gone up insane amount. But if I compare this year with last year, I have paid so much more and got quite a bit less because last year we had fridge absolutely rammed full, we had cupboards rammed full, we had so much we could eat from Christmas after a new year. We had a lot because a lot of things what we had what we had in the fridge we didn't want them to go off so we put them in the freezer and we were able to eat them a little bit later so they don't go off. I don't really think that with what we have we will be able to last till New Year. And comparing to last year we definitely paid much more. I think last year's Christmas shopping was around 400 pounds as well. It is absolutely crazy but you know it is what it is. I am very grateful for what I have and for what I can afford and the way I live so I am not complaining at all. This is not complaining this is just what I have noticed the difference between last year and this year. But yeah I am so happy I am finished with all this because I am knackered. We did have a few extra bits what I didn't show on camera as well but after we came home from shopping we were starving so we had uh, some microwave meals and some cakes what I got from Sainsbury's but yeah and I think this video has come to an end so thank you very much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time bye